question for you. What is the grandest version of your fullest and highest expression of yourself as founder of Co-Thrive and 219 Connect? I did give them a challenge by creating a new entity since I was first notified and received the award. Um, <laughs> so I can quickly address the 219 Reconnect. Uh, that really stemmed as my desire to put out content really to protect the environment. I wanted to connect, connect the green dots in Northwest Indiana. I was alarmed because I didn't see a lot of green dots, but I thought much the way that we feel in this group that we can kind of create a, a bigger light when we put our lights together, I wanted to do that for the green community in Northwest Indiana. And originally that's what I received the award for, but since we had to cancel a few times due to many, you know, several reasons, postpone, postpone, it actually worked out perfect because in that time, it made me reflect, how can I become a better co-creator? I thought, I'm just playing in one sector or two sectors, um, media and environment, and now that I know there are these 12, I was reminded that there are 12, I really, really felt that I wanted to go into that hub of the wheel and be a media training ground for all of the other sectors, be a connector you know, for all the other sectors. So I feel that social media is a way to empower everybody to tell their own story. I'm not traditional media. And obviously anybody can get on Facebook, anybody could go do a podcast, but I feel by pulling them together with intentionality and with some technical finesse, we can make more happen. So that's, that's really my vision, is that everybody will be able to create their own media, tell their own story successfully, and by doing it together, we'll be more eloquent and create a, a bigger back signal, if you will. Too much. Okay. We won't leave you out. Those of you who are in the first six 